in this video I will be discussing three reasons why your Craigslist ads are getting flagged. The top three reasons that I seen that reason why your Craigslist ads are getting flagged. Right, my name is Alex and I've been using Craigslist since about 2018 to sell affiliate offers and to grow my email list by pennies on the dollar. If you want one-on-one -on -one coaching when it comes to Craigslist, there's going to be a number below. Simply text that number below for one-on-one -on -one coaching. Right. So the three reasons why your ads are getting flagged on Craigslist when it comes to affiliate-based marketing or promoting affiliate offers or CPA offers. Number one, right, or just one, right, one. You're posting too many times too fast. You're posting too many times too fast. Now, inside of Craigslist, you can only post two ads every 48 hours. I repeat, only two ads every 48 hours, right? This is not like Facebook or Twitter or YouTube or social media where you can just, right, go inside these Facebook groups and post a bunch of times or you can go on Twitter, right, and just keep on posting, right? Craigslist has rules and regulations. So you can only post two ads every 48 hours. And especially when you have a new account, especially when you have a new account, you want to understand that post two ads every 48 hours, sometimes wait three days and post again, right? Because Craigslist is very, very powerful when it comes to affiliate-based marketing, but you don't want to fuck it up, right? If you have a fresh account, you want to go slow because on Craigslist, it's all about building up the accounts, right? I have one Facebook account, I mean, one Craigslist account with over 30 ads running because I just build it up, right? So the second reason why your ads might be getting flagged on Craigslist is you're not posting or you're trying to post in Craigslist states not around you, right? Let me give you an example, right? I live in New York City. So when I open up a new Craigslist account, I'm only posting in New York City, then I'm slowly going to branch out to Philadelphia, then to Boston, then to New Jersey, then to Maine, right? So whatever state that you live in, you want to take over your state first then, then slowly branch out to states around you, right? So just whatever state that you live in, take over your city and take over your state first, then slowly branch out to states that are around your state. Now, there are methods in which I teach, in which I have, that you can, uh, that you can post all across the country, but, but there are certain things that you have to have set up in place before you post all over the country. So that's number two is... You're trying to post in cities and states that aren't near you, right? Because if I live in New York City and I, and my New York City IP address says New York City and Craigslist reads my IP address because it says New York City and then I don't change my IP address and I try to go to California to post the ad, they're going to be like, what the fuck are you doing, Alex? You live in New York City. Why are you posting in, uh, in California, right? They're going to flag the ad. And inside of Craigslist, you don't want your ad account to get flagged, right? You, you don't want to get flagged because once it has too many red flags, the whole account gets banned, right? So that's, you know, that's something that you have to, like, understand, and that's part of my coaching, right? Number three. Is it three? Yeah. Number three is you're putting the affiliate link inside of the ad. Now, you have to understand that Craigslist does not like affiliate offers. Craigslist does not like work from home offers. Craigslist does not like CPA offers. So when you, but that doesn't mean you cannot make money with it because I still sell affiliate offers on Craigslist. I still do CPA marketing on Craigslist. I still build my email list on Craigslist every single day. So it still works. But there are strategies that you have to do because like I said, Craigslist does not like affiliate links. So if you're trying to put like the ClickBank link inside the ad, or if you're inside TechSpot, you're trying to put like, uh, you know, the TechSpot link inside the ad, don't do that. Because like I get it, Craigslist is smart. Craigslist is free. I mean, Craigslist is a multi-million dollar business, right? They understand, they can read those affiliate links, right? They can read that link. And if they see that it's a link that goes to ClickBank, that goes to Max Bounty, they're going to, they're, your, your ad are going to get flagged Right, your ad's just gonna get flagged because they're gonna be like, we don't like ClickBank, we don't like work from home. We, thank you, have a nice day, appreciate you. Uh, anyways, that's three reasons. I'm gonna give you a, a fourth bonus tip for my hater in the back over here. My fourth bonus tip is this, right? 
you always have to change up the headlines, right? You always have to change up the headlines. If you're using the same headline over and over and over again, right? Craigslist look, looks at that as spam. And it doesn't matter if you're promoting, uh, you know, if you have housing, if you sell anything on Craigslist, if you have a, a brick and mortar business, you always have to be changing up the headlines because Craigslist can read all that information. They can read the headline. And if they keep on seeing that you're, uh, they look at that as spam, right? If they see that you have 20 ads with all the same headline over and over and over again, they look at that as spam. So you always have to be changing up the headlines. And changing up the headlines is not hard, right? There's a tool out there, it's called Spin Rewriter. This is a Spin Rewriter tool where you can literally put a paragraph inside the Spin Rewriter tool. It, it, it would change up the words to make it very similar to what the ad says, but it, just in different words and different meaning. So there are tools out there and softwares out there that I use to create my headlines, right? To create my headlines for my YouTube videos, to create my headlines for my Facebook ads, to create my headlines for my affiliate marketing business because I know these headlines are proven to work. I know if I use this headline, people are gonna click on the headline, they're going to read the ad copy and they're gonna click on my links. And what does that mean? They click on my links and that makes us money, right? At the end of the day. People clicking on our links and buying our affiliate products, that's at the end of the day, has uh, makes us money, right? Because I've been using Craigslist since 2018. I probably have ran over 500 plus ads on Craigslist. And over the course of two years, I probably made thousand, I probably made over $10,000 on Craigslist, right? In two years. Probably over $10,000 on Craigslist using Craigslist, right? Because it's a strategy that I've been using because it's proven. It's a cheap and effective traffic source, right? Cheap and effective traffic source, right? It's the only traffic source that I know where I can spend $5 on the ad and generate 30, 40, 50 leads of targeted people, right? Because once you know the targeting, the demographic of the people that, uh, that go on Craigslist, you know how to write the ad copy, you know how to write the description, you give them a good call to action, and you have the right offer that matches the audience they're going to click on the link or they're going to ask you for more information because this is all I do and this is how I built a six-figure affiliate marketing business leveraging YouTube, Craigslist, Facebook, and email marketing, right? That's all I literally do. My six-figure affiliate marketing business is leveraged on YouTube, on Facebook, small Craigslist ads, and building, and building email lists, right? Now, I'm inside different niches, right? I can promote different niches on the internet because I know how to write ad copy, I know how to get traffic, I know how to build landing pages. I can make money in any niche when it comes to affiliate based marketing because once you possess the skill sets, then it gets easier, right? Because the one thing that people fail when it comes to affiliate based marketing or making money online is traffic, right? They don't know how to get traffic to the website. They don't know how to get people to raise their hand and ask for more information, right? This is the most important thing and this is what people struggle with it's traffic, right? If you're not getting at least 50, 60, 100 plus people to go to your website a day, then you're not gonna make as much money. But if you know how to get 100 people to your website, 200 people to your website, 500 people to your website, then you're going to turn those numbers into sales and sales means money, right? Because once you possess the skill set of driving traffic and you know how to drive traffic using Craigslist, Facebook ads, YouTube ads, uh, Bing advertisement, Google AdWords, you are literally, you can literally print money. You can go to any business, right, any business, and they will pay you hundreds of thousands of dollars per month if you know how to drive traffic to their restaurant, if you know how to drive traffic to a phone call, right? These businesses don't know anything about marketing. These businesses don't know anything about advertisement. They're a brick and mortar business, right? So once you have skill sets of driving traffic, your life gets easier, right? Your life will get easier. So thank you guys. I kind of went on a rant at the end right there. But thank you guys for watching this Craigslist video. The three reasons why your Craigslist ads are getting flagged in 2020 with Alex. If you want one-on-one -on -one Craigslist coaching, there's going to be a number below. Simply text a number or call the number below and we could talk on the phone for one-on-one -on -one coaching. I'll catch you guys later. Thank you for uh, watching the video. Like, comment, and subscribe because I post videos every single day helping you, showing you, motivating you on how to make money online with affiliate based marketing. In 2007, 2016, I was sitting in jail. 2017, I was a dishwasher. In two years, I made six figures on the internet with affiliate based marketing. I live in New York City. 
Like I said, no one could tell me what to do, right? 2016, I was sitting in jail for the whole year. 2017, I was a dishwasher. In two years, I made over six figures on the internet, and no one could tell me shit because I have the skill set, right? So like the video, drop a comment below, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't do it. Don't let anybody stop you from chasing your dreams, right? The people that want to stop you, the people that want to hate on you, they're mad at themselves. Peace.